The Rio Grande is a quiet oasis of cottonwood and willow forest, meandering slowly through central New Mexico. The Corps, with other agencies in the collaborative program, began restoring floodplain habitat in 2002. As another dry spring quickly approaches, water managers are racing against time, working together to determine how much water silvery minnows need to help the endangered population recover. The airboat carries engineers and biologists to many sites over many miles of river in a day. This includes visiting potential spawning sites. So this is going to be a quick and dirty survey of how to get the, the bank height above the water's edge. So I put this right at the water's edge and then we'll take a photo and we'll measure how high my foot is, how many six inch increments that comes above the, the water's edge. And that way we can get a bunch of points um, throughout the day rather than do a full survey at each location. Water managers need to decide how to manage river flows to produce more silvery minnows each spring. Because of the drought, the spring runoff has been very poor the last couple of years. So the spawning success of the minnow has been very poor as well. And the numbers are getting low enough the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is concerned about the population. The reason the Rio Grande silvery minnow is important is if there's not enough water in the river to support a fish that's evolved in a desert river, there's not going to be enough water for the people who want to live around this river. Striving to survive in hatcheries, the team is working hard to create natural spawning habitats for these tiny fish. Habitats that are once again robust and sustainable in the Rio Grande. Andrea Hummel, reporting.